Hello children. Welcome back to the English to session. As you all know we are dealing with the topic helping verbs. Helping verbs are also called as to be verbs. Okay. In the previous session children we have solved exercise A and today we are going to solve the next exercise that is exercise B. So children I want all of you to open your grammar textbook to page number 42. I hope all are ready. Okay. Keep your finger on the book and repeat after me, okay? Question B. Complete the paragraph with is or are, okay? You have to either use is or are. Is are and am are helping verbs. Is we use with singular noun or pronoun and are we use with plural noun or pronoun okay see the first sentence here aman and dia are on the beach here the first example is solved for you here aman and dia okay they are two persons so it is plural so for plural we use the helping verb are the next they dash playing with the sand here they you know it is a they is a plural pronoun so with plural pronouns we use the helping verb are okay they are playing with the sand the third one they dash make a sand castle here they again it is a plural pronoun so with the plural pronoun we use the helping verb are next a dog dash also playing near the water see you can see in the picture here a dog here a dog dog is singular so for singular nouns we use the helping verb is a dog is also playing near the water next aman dash scared of dogs now see here aman aman is singular noun okay so we use the helping verb is aman is scared of dogs but this dog dash friendly here dog dog is singular okay so with the singular nouns we use the helping verb is so but this dog is friendly okay next it dash very playful now here it is a singular pronoun okay with singular pronouns we use the helping verb is it is very playful next dia and aman run and play with the dog okay you dash such a good dog says dia okay now you here it is plural pronoun so you are such a good dog says dia now the dog dash happy and wags its tail now here the dog dog is singular noun okay now for singular noun we use the helping verb is the dog is happy and wags its tail Okay children i hope you have understood the concept okay this is all for today we are going to stop here and continue in the next session thank you children